I actually start with Alex, mate. Um, career night for you in the NBL. What did you see out there? And um, talk to us about, you know, I guess playing in hostile territory and coming away with the win. Yeah, I mean, it was a great game, you know, from from everybody, and uh, and we just had a good team win. You know, we uh, we we put it away like in the last minutes, but uh, overall, just a great game. What was the discussion like pre-game, given that you know Phoenix were undermanned, had just beaten Sydney, obviously didn't want to take them lightly. Yeah, of course, you know, uh, we, we we respected them a lot, you know, and, and we we didn't make that mistake to to think that it would be easier or, or anything, and uh, and yeah, I think that that helped us. JR, he changed things a lot at both ends of the floor tonight. Um, can you tell us what you saw from him? Changed things at both ends of the floor. Uh, I, I think uh, him getting in the game the other night, um, you know, he's coming off his injury uh, because of the schedule we've had. We've had limited, like, what I would call solid practice time. So, um, like, tonight he was moving way better, his, his activity level. and. You know, that, that's how he influences a game. And, uh, you know, he got rewarded for it as well. What did you like about tonight from your boys? Oh, look, the, the way those guys just hang together, no matter what the situation is, uh, they have a nice belief about how we can get things done. You know, the other night was disappointing, but we're playing well. Um, so it was a test to see where we really were mentally, to come on the road and see what we could do. And once again, they stood up to the challenge. I know you usually say you only focus on your team, but what did you think of you know what the Phoenix were tonight? And they challenged you tonight. Look, I, th I think what we're seeing across the NBL, uh, you know, with some of the teams, is when there's like good chemistry with in the guys on the floor, it's a huge difference. Um, you know, and there's a number of teams around the league. Um, so they, they've done a great job. The, you know, obviously Sydney, now they come in playing with a little bit of confidence, but um, I've watched Mitch Creek for quite a while, but I would say this is, I haven't watched every Mitch Creek game, but I would say this is the first time in a long time he's like really taking ownership of what's going out there on the floor. And then those other guys just get in right behind and follow his lead. So a lot of credit has to go to him. Alex, um, what do you make of, I guess, you know, the outside talk of, you know, Alex is going to shut it down and all those sorts of things, whereas, you know, everything that I heard out of Perth was that you were here for the long haul. Do you hear that stuff and does it impact you or what do you think of it? He just heard it. <laughs> you, you joined the queue. I'm, 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 you joined the queue. I'm, I'm in the queue. I'm, yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like he said, you know, like most of the time when I hear it, it's when I talk with media, but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't let it bother me. I know uh, what I wanted to do since I came here, and, and I don't let it change. Jay, what um, changed following your loss on, against the Hawks the other night? What was the major changes for you tonight? Oh, just our like our energy and our purpose from the get go. Um, and and look, you can pretty much say that for any team in the NBL right now. If you come out with a good purpose, we come out with good purpose and energy. Um, but look, we had multiple contributors at a high level tonight. Uh, we just didn't have that the other night. So uh, Alex was good, KP was good, uh, and then other guys like the guy Bryce Cotton, he was had his moments, and then Usher chimes in with Ty Webster as well. So everyone plays their part in it, you know. So uh, when when you're a good team playing well, you're going to have players at playing at an exceptional level. Yeah, and a really good game from KP tonight. How do you get him going on a consistent basis, especially tonight? Yeah. How do you get him going? Compared that game in sports, what does he need to do? To yeah, look, I, I think he gets a lot out of his activity defensively because then he plays down the floor with a great momentum. Um, so just making sure we get him locked in. But then, like tonight, he was all over the glass at both ends of the floor. He's a very disruptive defender. Um, so when he's locked in with that way, like that, that's why he's like probably a top 10 player in the league with that mindset. Yeah. Alex, what's it, what's it like playing behind a guy like KP? What have you learned from him so far this season? Yeah, I mean, it's it's great having like a teammate like AP. He's very versatile, like provides a lot of versatility on defense and on offense. We can play different coverage with him, and, and he can get his own points on offense. So it's great having him. Jay, I'll finish off with this one. Do you think Alex has an M1 pick? He decides that, not me. Uh, look, I've never been in that stratosphere, but he's doing a great job. The performance tonight is only going to help when he influences the game at both ends. Like, that's what, that's what with someone with his physique, his ability, he, if he shows that he can impact the game at both ends, I'm, I'm sure he'll get his dream. 
Uh, Craig, do you want to unmute, mate, and ask one? From a club perspective tonight, is you now guaranteed to play finals. Um, what does that mean for you to know that you've, you've locked that away? Nothing. We still have four games to go, so we, we need to keep trending in the right direction, keep chipping away, um, because we we we're not involved in this thing just to make the playoffs. So, does, does, knowing you're in, is it allowed to narrow your focus towards trying to aim for the top two now? No, our focus is always the next game and winning that because then we will achieve what we're looking to get to. I never talk about ladder, position, what we're trying to achieve. It's about the next game and us getting better. Yeah, and, and Alex, uh, we've seen you training the past week and a half or so, moving really well, but to play 18 minutes after a month out, like, what have you done to keep your fitness up during this injury? Yeah, I mean, uh, we have like physios that take care of everything. So I just did my rehab and, and it was a smooth comeback, I'll say. Thank you. Cool. That's it, guys. Thank I, you very much. I got a question for someone in here. What does FD on the stat sheet mean? How many times they were fouled. How many times they were fouled? Yeah. OK. I grew up in the Andrew Gaze era. As a player, we used to complain about how we got calls. But every team, top to bottom, had a hell of a scouting report for Andrew Gaze. So there's a level of frustration, but he got rewarded because he was featured heavily. Bryce Cotton, four drawn fouls tonight. I listen to every press conference. I read a lot of articles. Tell me someone that doesn't have him at the top of the scouting report. And when he's aggressive, Four drawn fouls. Unbelievable.